are listening to you're listening to you're listening to Doug, Doug Brooks, Brooks in the, the morning, morning show. show. Here comes the boom. What is up? That is right. There is the boom. Boom, 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 boom. Mopos. Kabooshki. Kab- Skadoosh. <laughs> Skadoosh. <laughs> oh, that's why that's not doing a turn down. There we go. Yay! Doug figured it out. I, I saw the number three, so I thought it was number three, but really it's number two because number three is next. Everyone hand it to him. I'm sorry. I'm just frustrated. This morning has been frustrating. Pokemon? No, I was editing YouTube videos this morning, and my computer crashed mid-edit of one of oh. them. Oh. yeah. I, and it, it, I, rest, it, I restarted, and everything's okay now, but it was frustrating. It took me about 20 more minutes than I wanted it to take. Now, when I got here, there was nobody here to let me in until about 20 minutes ago. Well, I bet your mom was happy about the uh, soundproofing. Oh, no. I, nobody was home when I was doing all that. Oh, okay. Good. Because I was screaming and cursing <laughs> my head off like there's no tomorrow. Uh, that's why I said that. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. I, I can see that worse than a Dark Souls rage. Oh, I yeah, know. It was it was pure, unadulterated violence at that point, and I was considering throwing hmm. the, the laptop out the window. Okay, okay. Big question. Yes. Worse than Battle Kid. Oh, no. I, it was not worse than Battle Kid. <laughs> okay, okay. Which, by the way, I think I might try and find uh, oh. find the emulator of that and see if I can't oh. cop it. I'm going to see if I can. I don't know. I, I doubt I can. I'm not good at video games. You're, you're going to try and defeat the flower. I, if I can get past the flower, I can say, yeah. That's right, I did it. Send it to Game Grumps. Game Grumps. <laughs> yeah, you guys can't get that far, but guess who can? Guess you should hire someone new to uh, start playing video games, and I wonder who I'm talking about. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, that's the side point. Uh, I'll get on to more about that topic. Not in, I don't think crap on crap, totally talk, whatever I want to call it later on. Oh, okay, so that's we when we're going to talk about... We're, we're going to talk about a lot during that because I'm upset with Ninja Sec Party at the current moment. <gasps> I'm very upset with them. Ooh. Almost to the point of I don't want to play any of their music today. <gasps> Almost. But I'm still going to do it. <laughs> Is Starbomb okay? No, they're also they're also involved. They're also involved in this. <sighs> and technically also Tupperware Remix Party is too. Is, is it about the email? No, it's not about the email. Okay. It's about something much more bigger than the email. Because I didn't get a chance to send the email because of the said reason mad. So, that's beside the point. I still love them, don't get me wrong. I'm just upset with them. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> I'm not upset. I'm, I'm not just... upset. I'm just disappointed. No, no, you have to go, I'm not upset. I'm just disappointed. disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really is disappointment because, well, I'll, like I said, I'll get into that um, crap on crap. I think I'm going to just keep it as crap on crap. Okay. Because when I put up the video of it on YouTube, I literally didn't know what to name it because, like, oh, what what is the name of that segment now? So it's like, screw it, question mark, question mark, question mark. I wanted to put dot, 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 but it's like, nah, I want to step it up with little squiggles above the dots. Okay. So, do we need that siren? Yeah. Because uh, we got a loud song to wake up to. What was that? Don't make fun of me. <laughs> My voice cracked a little bit, so I'm tired, I'm exhausted, and frustrated. So many things piling up on each other, and it's just leading to an interesting day. So, here's Rune to Reeve, you and me at 6, uh, right here on 89.5 The Wave. Doug Brooks in the morning show, which soon, as in soon, I mean next week, will be the Doug Brooks show. <laughs> we got too many segments! Now we gotta hype them all. All aboard the hype train! Hype, hype, hype. That's right, we're hyping up because we got a lot to talk about in Game Corner today. Pokemon. There has been, I mean, there's The just... best Pokemon. The most beautiful Pokemon. What? Oh, yeah, no, there is a, there's a set. Was there more released after uh, Monday? No. Okay, good, so I didn't miss anything extra. Eh, sort of. There's... I'll get into it. We'll get into it. I'll get it. into it. I'll get into it. 
Um, <laughs> no, I'm stealing your line. I'll get into it. Right I'll now. get into I'll it later. <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh, I'll, yeah, we'll get into all that here in just a little bit. Um, so is that all we really need to hype up about this? Yeah, I mean, are you going to talk about something other than... Well, we'll start off with my Pokemon this time, because your Pokemon is a lot bigger, and oh, gosh. We'll, we'll go into what I, about me and my YouTube channel and what I'm playing first. Officially playing first. <gasps> Officially, because as the... <laughs> As the multiple hints I gave out on Facebook turns out, I screwed up and couldn't get the Wii U to work with the game capture. I figured out how to get it to work now, so later I'm going to play Wii U games and such, so it's all good. I might lie. I, I haven't tested that theory out yet. I might have to buy a whole separate part. <clears throat> Although my, my views on YouTube went up from 44 to 58 from yesterday. Ooh. So that means someone watched all 12 videos that are on there. <laughs> Which, which is really cool. this guy. Not that guy yet, which means they'll go up by 12 eventually sometime soon. Maybe. If I get Actually, they'll go up by I 14. Because I got two, I got two uh, posts scheduled to come. Part 6 of the Doug Brooks Morning Show uh, July 29th episode finale. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know if you want to watch that. That's fine. You will miss out on the cool looking waveform that is on there. And your silhouetted head above said waveform. I know. It, 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 I, was, it was I, a lot I, of fun to make. I, 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 I lived it. I don't need to relive it. Okay, Ross. <laughs> okay, Ross. That is, that is Ross. Really? He literally claims that he doesn't watch Game Grumps because he's on Game Grumps, and he doesn't feel like talking about Game Grumps with his Game Grumps friends because he's already lived it. Okay. I mean, it's fair. It's fair-ish. Ish. So, and next week I might bring up my... Uh, my recording stuff and might get, you know, short Mender's last episode with a round of Pokemon Red. <gasps> Why, hello, and Ninja Brian. And the Manticore, he wasn't even in this song. Game Corner. All right. So, let's talk about me first, for a change in this segment. Ooh, Doug's so special. Let's talk about him. <laughs> I'm going to start throwing stuff at you every time. Anyway. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, uh, Pokemon Red, I'm playing on the YouTube channel, The Doug Brooks Show. Go check it out. So, there's Subscribe. that. Subscribe. Subscribe, like, comment, whatever you got to do. Rate, if you want to. Find me on Yelp. Rate me on Yelp, I guess. I don't know. If, I don't know if that's possible. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm already on episode four. We just got done battling Brock. Ooh. Yeah. Where we have currently the team of uh, Tilly the Squirtle, Kafarkle the Nidoran boy, Boppet the Nidoran girl, uh, Claire the Spiro, and Claire spelled C L I A R, cause she's a baby. Yeah, I went there. Okay. Uh, my Butterfree, who was formerly a Metapod, who was also formerly a Caterpie, nicknamed Roast Beef. Because I feel like cat pee smells like roast beef. Contest me there if you want to. Um, And then Squirtle, named Tilly. Yeah, I think you've already said that one. Did I? Yes. Oh, I did. Squirtle, Nidoran, Nidoran, Spiro, Caterpie. Oh, yeah, it's Pikachu's last Pokemon. Named Paul Blarf. Originally going to be Paul Blart, and then was going to be after that uh, Raul Barf. But then I changed it to Paul Blarf. Okay. For copyright reasons. <clears throat> I don't need to give Kevin James any more money. He already looks like me enough as it is. Or I look like him as enough as it is. Okay. Okay. So, um, we just beat Brock. Uh,. That's about it. I didn't nickname the Pidgey I caught. That's too lazy. I just I was speeding through it and I forgot to nickname it actually. So I'm gonna catch a new Pidgey and nickname it. And then release the old one. Yep. Only nickname Pokemon during this playthrough. And uh, that uh, and next game I'm gonna play after Pokemon Red is uh, Super Mario Land 2 and the six gold coins. I think that's what the name of it is. 
you should be at least a little pretty sure. Oh, I know it's Super Mario but, Land 2, but I don't know if it's the six gold coins or not. It's an old it's an old uh, Game Boy game that I used to play at multiple soccer tournaments while my brother played soccer because he was the athlete, I was the geek. Yeah, but aren't you playing soccer now? I can't. I got an ACL tear. Oh, okay. I'm retired uh, currently for now. And, and maybe it's it, it, I'm currently on the injured reserves indefinitely is the term, I believe. But we'll get into that later, I guess, because <laughs> that's not really gaming. So, short matter. Shall I turn my head towards here and get off my YouTube channel, sure. The Doug Brooks Show, and look at uh, Monday's Pokemon Sun and Moon news? Yes, because there was tons released with that. And then because of that, actually a whole lot more was released. A whole lot more was released? A whole lot more was released. So we have now learned that one of the greatest things ever happened. Pokemon can now change their whole forms and everything well, with Alolan forms. It's not really they're going to change the forms. It's really where you catch it. Yes, I know. The way you made it sound. They have forms. The way you forms. said it they sounds like. They have different forms. The way you said it sounds care. like if I take my sand shrew up to the mountains, it's going to magically turn into that. It may. Who knows? You don't we, know. don't, we don't know that. You're right. I could, I could be just skeptical and such and think that, oh, if I take this down to the ground area, it's going to turn back into a regular sand shrew. Yeah, it's so be really thank you about. for stealing my thunder. Yeah, I know. One of them is sand shrew. I'm sorry. At least I didn't mention as, you know. You can't see it right now, but I'm moving my eyebrows <laughs> up and down. So cool. <laughs> and I'm kicking his chair. Yep. But as he was saying... One of them is Sandshrew, which is now an ice steel type. Both Sandshrew and Sand Slash. See, at least I didn't steal that from you. Well, they can guess. Well, they could. But and I... Sand Slash looks so oh, awesome. He is a total badass now. He has icicle spikes. And also, if you looked at his claws, they're kind of uh, curved, at, curved the at the end for like kind ice like climbing. Kind of like harpoon-ish. No, no, they're like the ice climbing picks. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you can climb up the ice mountains. And then the next one is Volpix and Ninetales, which Volpix is a pure ice and Ninetales is an ice fairy. And God, does the Ninetales look just beautiful. Well, it takes more of its mythical form, like how everybody, uh, you know, the original thought of how Ninetales is a mystical Pokemon. You know, it's a bunch of psychic type attacks and has, like, the will o wisp and such. Yeah. The old theory on Ninetales is now the new Ninetales. And then my favorite out of all of them, Executor. The coconut Pokemon. Now. He is now a grass dragon, which sounds so amazing, but he is now a Derpasaurus. His neck is like 50 feet long. He still has a short, stubby body, but a huge neck. I love it. He's a Derpasaurus. He's a Derpasaurus. And he is the new meme lord. He stands at 35 feet tall. So, I don't care. Just letting you know. I don't care. 34 of that is his neck. There we go. Better. <laughs> it's not. It's <laughs> a lot. I would give maybe 30 is his neck, but not 34. Because <laughs> the rest of his body is still kind of lengthy and such. And then he also got taken in the fact of his head, and they probably count the top of the leaves. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but he is now the new meme lord. People have been posting him over new things, or uh, over different things. Like staffs, swords, everything. Uh, people have even made uh, Pokemon Go uh, things with him where it's just his body and some of his neck and it goes off of the screen. Which is really cool when you think about it. And now there's also new Pokemon that have been released. Uh, Yangoose has a evolution, Gumshoes. The, the real Donald Trump. Actually, he's supposed to be a detective. 
Well, I can see that, but a lot of people on the internet are calling him the actual Donald Trump of the evolution. Uh, yeah, but... Yeah. But that's, that's, just that's definitely going to be his nickname for oh, yeah. everyone. For almost everyone. Um, the pre-evolved form of Mudsdale. Mudbray. His favorite. He's It's a donkey. What can I say? You're a donkey. You're a donkey. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, I, m- minior. Minior. Yeah. This one looks interesting. It... Ooh, excuse me. It's supposed to be like a comet or a meteor or something yeah. like that. And it has a hard shell and then a inner core. And when it gets hit by an attack... Shields down its ability and reveals said core. I think it's actually when it gets below 50%. Okay. Yeah. I don't know much about it. But it's highly defensive when the shields are up and highly attackative, I'm pretty sure. Probably. When the shields are down. The next one, do you want to take these two? Yes, because Fomantis and Lorantis are so adorable and cool grass type Pokemon. You are like little tiny mantises, and they're so adorable. I can't even handle it how adorable they are. You good? Yeah, I'm just saying they are adorable. Okay. And then the next one is... Ori Corio. Yeah, that one. It's a interesting bird type. That can be multiple different types of bird types. Depending on where you catch it, each island has a different form Cause and you, different typings. You get the bale style, the pom-pom style, the pau style, or the sensu style. And to sum that up for Americans, that would be the salsa dancing style, the cheerleading style, the hula dancer style, and the Japanese fan dancing style? Correct? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the the best way is uh the the uh goats tower <laughs> dancers with all the evolutions yeah those guys <laughs> those guys uh yeah the salsa one is the fire type the cheerleader is the electric type the Hawaiian dancer hulu dancer is psychic and your fan dancing Pokemon is the ghost type yep and they're all they all have flying along with that. Then, and then the cool—it's a cool ability. If you, if you oh yeah, I forgot about the ability of dancer. Basically, if you use a move against it with the word dance in it, say quiver dance, rain dance. Is there another dance? Uh, there are tons of dance moves. I, those are the only two I can think of. Um, top of my head. there's fiery dance. Oh yeah, forgot about fiery dance. Yeah, sword dance. Ooh, but basically, once Dragon. you use it. Dragon Dance. Ooh, this could be a dragon killer. It has potential now. Especially the fairy one. There is no fairy one. It's it's psychic. It's psychi- oh, psychic. Yeah. But still, psychic yeah. would be a good choice against the two. But it's <clears throat> allowing it to steal. My question is, does it automatically just use that move over its yeah. move that it already had oh, no. planned? Or is it also it with? Also with. Oh, that could be dangerous. Yep. This could be a dangerous Pokemon. I would choose the ghost one, obviously. Okay, move on. Move on. Another thing that was released were um, Z moves. Poke nukes is what it is. Poke nukes. Poke. What? Am I wrong? <laughs> Am I wrong? That is what the crystal apparently is for. And what it does is each type has a specific ultra powerful move, and you can use it. Once per turn. That's basically it. Gigavolt Havoc, Bloom Doom, Inverno Overdrive, Hydro Vortex. Those are the first four we know. And then... I mean, it does open up the question of, will dual-type moves have a separate move? I don't think so. I don't know. We don't know. We won't know till it comes out. I think dual-types, you can choose between like I said, the two. We won't know until it comes out. Um, then we start going into hyper training, hyper train. I thought that was already released before that. Was it? I don't know. I, but, but it's taking over super training, I guess. No. What I think is you have to get a Pokemon up to level 100. Then you can train it more, give oh. it more IVs uh-huh. or EVs or whatever. Six. All I know is that there was a YouTuber just complaining left and right about it. 
Real competitive Pokemon trainers won't like this. And it's so stupid. Verless Fi or whatever. Yeah. <sighs> all he does is complain. I know. I, I watched one video. It's like, this guy just bitches all the time, doesn't he? Yes, he does. But as I was going, there is one other thing that was kind of released that actually starts going into... I forgot about it until you yeah, yeah. Until I saw it, too. That actually kind of goes into more theories also. <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time I see this one, it's funny to me. The, the electric guy. He's so derpy. Um, there are island trials. But here's my question. Do the island trials take over the Pokemon gyms? That is where we start going into theory. Ooh. Because there was a leak before this video. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Showing, one, the final evolutions for well, the starters. Hang on, hang on. Short matter. Do you want to take a quick uh, break from... We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll come, come back. Because this seems like it's going to be... We need oh, to have yeah. a part two. Oh, yeah. I feel this like is, still, this I feel is like, a part two. I feel like you still have plenty to talk about. Oh, God, yeah. So I feel like me... Uh, Taking out one song. I'm going to move it down, actually. Okay. And then us going into quick weather and traffic update, obviously, right after said song. Yep. And then back into part two of... Oh, oh yeah, because there's so much more. So I feel like taking a quick break, giving us a chance to catch our breath, because I feel like... Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Give us a chance to go get a quick drink, so our throats don't <laughs> get dry from all this excitement and salivating oh, over yeah. all this, so... Here is Minecraft is for Everyone by Starbomb, right here on 89.5 The Wave. We'll be right back with more Pokemon news after a quick break. Uh, so stay tuned, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. 